President Obama called them revolutionary, 3D printers that create physical objects from a digital file. They're changing the way we make things in this country. But the latest report from our series Flashpoint, Guns in America, shows how some are using the technology in a way the president may not have foreseen to make cheap gun parts. NBC's Janet Chamlian has our story. This is the brain of the 3D printer, if you will. When Chapman Batesell first learned of 3D printers, he had to have one. Being able to take anything from design to 3D model and then to have the physical object in my hand was just something that I got so excited about I had to have one. The software engineer and gamer paid $1,000 for this model and has made a lot of little items. Case for my iPhone I designed and printed. He's also made this, part of a semi-automatic rifle with a file downloaded from the Internet. Gunsmiths have been forging their own for ages. This is the magazine well right here. But with a 3D printer, gun parts can be cheaply produced from a heavy plastic that would go undetected at metal detectors and open up a new avenue for unlicensed gun manufacturing. With 3D printing, a semi-automatic weapon can be made for very little money. A magazine like this for less than $10 and a receiver, one of the main components, for under 20 Cody Wilson is a Texas law student who's uploaded gun-making blueprints to the web after other sites took them down following the massacre at Sandy Hook. My agenda is, is simply that uh, I'm going to create a printable gun, I'm going to put it online. He's already printed high-capacity magazines, like the ones President Obama has proposed banning. Printing gun parts like these is currently legal under federal law. I think people should have access to it, and I don't think you should have the ability or anyone else should have the ability to control your access to it on the Internet or your ability to print it on the machine. As the gun debate heats up around the country, Congressman Steve Israel is pushing for a renewal of a law that makes undetectable firearms like these illegal. I never thought that that science fiction would be reality, but today with three-dimensional printers, it is. I don't want to make it easier for the bad guys to do damage to us. I want to make it harder. The technology isn't perfect. Plastic parts often fail. And no one's been able to make an entire gun that fires more than a single shot. But as designs improve, Making a gun at home could soon be as simple as a point and a click.